Yep. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, let's, oh. go. let's go check out this place. Wow, this place Damn. is very beautiful. Let's check yeah. inside this house. Wow, a lot of sugarcane and a kitchen and a storage area. Let's head upstairs. Oh, windows. Yes, very nice and beautiful. Oh, four beds. Yes, bedroom and a balcony. Very nice view. Oh, damn. This looks so cool. Yes. This is for like pollination and stuff. I think because um, almost 90% of wild plants and 75% of leading global crops depends on animal pollination. So this is very worth it, you know, on the roof. Okay, let's go. Yes. B-Town? What is this? Wow, B-Town. Oh, some bottles. bottles. Let's oh, collect some let's honey. Taste some un honey. Wow, the bees are very good at making honey. Damn, they got the flowers in a straight line. I think because bees also rely on a tra transport system to get around. So this is very cool. Yes, and without the flowers, the bees would usually get lost. Yeah, I know. Should we take a look inside the tree? Yes. Wow, so cozy. And a <laughs> lot of honey. We should go downstairs. Wow, yeah, let's take a look. Whoa! Holy crap. This must be the sugarcane farm, which produces all the sugar. Oh my god, let's press this lever. Yeah. Wow. Oh! Yeah. Sugarcane! The sugarcane gets harvested and all goes into this chest in the middle. If we take some of the sugarcane, we can make it into sugar. And now with this then sugar, we can give it to bees. To trade for honey. Yes. So we can get some food while they can get food, you know? Yeah, and this if, is we, we, if we don't give the bees sugar, we will not be able to harvest any honey. Because they won't produce any honey. Yeah. So sugar is Let very important for honey harvest. Let's go up here. Okay. Wow, this tree is sure is tall. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this place this is canopy is cool. so cool. Yeah. Bees find very unusual places to live. Yeah, some pr surprising places too. And this place is just I don't I can't describe it. It's a mountain inside a tree yeah there's really no other way to describe this it sure is fascinating <laughs> yes and for some questions we got laget lösning inkluderat detaljer om hur deras område stöttar ett sunt miljö där människor och djur kan bo fredlig lag so we made a modern house because we thought um, humans can live with bees like modern things can live with bees you know yeah humans also need a nice place to live so yeah modern house is very nice uh, vad dere har lärt som en del av projektet well i have learned many things i have learned how important bees are yes i also learned that bees are uh, very important because with without bees we would probably starve to death yeah they are huge thing they, in yeah, this world they impact a huge amount of food production yeah and unfortunately we on this earth are breaking or destroying the things for them yeah um for an highest moropos, Koran har dock jobbet mot ett av Afans bärkraftis mor. So we have actually um, tried to do the um, hunger thing. Yeah, we tried to solve hunger because yeah, global hunger. Yeah, bees uh, need also a good uh, uh, 
place to live because if bees don't have a good place to live then bees cannot pollinate and without po pollination there wouldn't be any growth in crops so here yeah. you can see that bees are you um, flying over this area quite often so the crops here are very healthy and very uh, efficient yes and on the roof we just use place to get more food yes. and something else the FN is um, working on is life on the planet and I think we are doing some great things well when placing crops on <coughs> on the roof yeah. and yeah this place is also a home to all bees on earth so if there are any homeless bees out there come by we always have yeah. Uh, a free spot for you as well we have this great fence that help you yeah it protects uh, the bees from predators from the outside world so the bees have a nice and safe area to live in yes stop recording